Hello and welcome back. Apparently, tier 5 uh, research things have been unlocked. Hey, how are you doing? Your ability to interface with Remnant is fascinating. Perhaps it is because you are unlike the cat. The cat control and subjugate. But the more they force the Remnant, the more it resists. You are respectful, interested in learning. I wonder if this is why the Remnant responds. Actually, I have an artificial intelligence in my head that helps with translation and analysis. Interesting. But it doesn't quite disprove my theory. Your artificial intelligence works with the Remnant, not against it. Let us set this aside for now. Is there something you need? I have questions. A lot of them, actually. I suppose it won't hurt to provide you with some answers. Nothing more, I already questioned you a lot. Thank you for speaking to me. Of course. For being really reclusive people, I am really glad that they are being very... very open to me in regards of conversation and a lot. Like, all we were told were, was essentially these guys don't talk to anyone, they are completely separate, secluded, they won't let you in. They don't want nothing to do with you, you, you won't get anything from them. Instead, they've been quite open with us. At least, the, at least if the NPC is willing to talk with us, of course there are the people who were like, No! No! You're not allowed here! This is the bad place for you! No! Go away! You're not allowed here! Why won't our master even... Why won't the first sage even talk to the alien? The alien doesn't deserve our attention! And... Right, so this is... Why right, we were here before when I was like, huh, what is this? What's all this then? Now it's Star Wars' turn. It's here. I just have to... my mind. I've been here before. Familiar. One, two, three indentations. Palm here. It worked. Wow. I wonder if this will make... It was so close, all this time, and no one knew. The rest of the remnant in the area may have prevented scans from detecting it. There were remnant machines here. Zorai was able to make them stop. How did he learn to use remnant tech? It's not like there's a manual. Zorai watched the watchers. That's all I'm getting. I'm not sure what it means. The others slept, but Zorai, but I, stayed awake. Unmoving, but seeing. Learning. Sounds like the stasis field around the first monolith. Maybe Zorai was able to shake off the effects. Maybe that changed him. I remember. It's quite an interesting option. Organic matter, ancient, reads as Angara. It's Zorai. She died here before she could get to the third monolith. This, this was me. I would like to spend some time here. But not now. The third monolith can't be far. Come on. Builder machines exhaust me. Mind and body must be engaged wholly or the attempt fails. I can't stop without the monoliths, the bolt fails. Without the bolt, the planet dies. I'm close. Just one. The sages got it wrong. Zorai was 
woman. That, that was a voice. My voice. May I have this, Pathfinder? It's yours. It's always been yours. Oh, joy. Once I activate the monolith, once we activate the monolith, even. Is it one of my memories over there? What's it doing there? Hey, once I have. Once the, once the tower is awake again. Let me just work with this. Or I could not so long ago. I'm sorry, Tavos. No, there's nothing to be sorry about. She didn't complete what she set out to do, but she didn't fail. The two monoliths she reactivated kept her vow going. Without them, the planet would have died. Go on to the vault, Pathfinder. I think I'll stay here a moment. I have a lot to think about. Understandable. Okay, find and activate the Vars Vault. Have ours even. Come on here, memory trigger. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. But it sounds to me like there's now two memories available from the way that the uh, message popped up. Okay, so... Ah, that is... Where the water is. I was curious about it before, but I didn't really pay that much mind. Alright. Alright, this is scannable. Is there something else that's scannable? As far as I can tell. Okay, let's get some more loot. What do we have here? Some stuff. No idea what it's for. Yeah, this is a nice cave. I like it. In all fairness, if Varric was here, it will, he would still end up telling about it as if it was yet another one of those caves from Dragon Age 2, because that's how Varric works. Doesn't care about caves. Just a quick sip of, sip of tea, and then we can proceed towards the vault. And then we can save Havar. Right, I could have just gone to that waypoint. Like, take it this. Fast travel disabled. Ah, okay. The vault should be open, Pathfinder. Is fast travel enabled now? So there's more voice lines to wait for, but than that. Are we expecting an ambush? Is that why we can't fast travel? Can I fast travel now? Yeah. So it was just a matter of having to leave the cave. I mean, I can do that. 
We present a 30% viability. Am, am I supposed to assume that the vault is going to reignite that much? Of it all? What did they just hear? I'm certainly he I was certainly hearing loud noises. This was how how these underground passages looked. So I feel like I probably missed a few of them in other places as well because I, I think I've seen like these plates before that have not been open. But I might be wrong, and I might be reading more into this than I need to. Which is fine. Yeah, I still think these are either kit or around current boots. Okay, remnant vault. Let's get this place up and running. And then let's run away. Run away to the stars. Run away to the far and now. That's a remnant turret. Unfortunate. Oh, we have so much remnant research data. If I only knew what I wanted from the remnant the deck tree, I think there was a shotgun I was interested in because it was like a laser gun. Okay, let's turn on the power. Let's see what that gives us. Well, we turn the power on. You'll need to locate the console to activate the purification field, Pathfinder. Right. Oh, hello! I didn't immediately notice that we were sent new friends. This gives power. This does what? Several interface connections converge here. I will highlight the ones you need. There must be a trick to this. Let's give it a try. This is four lights. Turret nearby, Pathfinder. Are you awake now? Or is it is an option to just blow open the door with a turret? So this is two lamps. This is one lamp. One. Two. This is four, so let's get three first. Three. And four. Am I doing this right? That gets us a step closer. Yeah. Math. The language of the universe. So counting to four is an universal truth. The purification field. You may want to sweep the area before this place tries to kill us. You mean? Uh, 
Is it implying that I should just... Like, am I supposed to be looking for loot right now? Or am I supposed to be running for my life already? Wait, why did this store... What can I do to this... This store? Um... So this store... Is able... I don't know how to get out of here. I think I need a checkpoint. Because the console to fix this mess is on the other side of this wall. I think. So yeah, that's, that's that. Oh, now the door opens. These remnant don't quit. Man, never gets less terrifying. Let's get out of here. Pathfinder Rider, are you there? All our instruments just recorded a search. What happened? Well, this boys are friendly now. Back up. We did it. That's a jest. It can't be. That's not a jest. The vault going through a reset could explain all the readings. I can't wait to hear all about this. Come back to Palav. We have a lot to discuss. Indeed we do. Can I go back there now? No. I was so sure I was just about to die. Also, I like that these guys are now friendly. Yeah. Are you gonna follow me around forever now? Because I'm okay with that. I like being having friends. And having one summonable friend is cool. But having permanent friends is even cooler. Okay, so we still know there's like artifacts and stuff we could be recovering here. Rakar logs and Pathfinder, the organic life on Havaro has begun to stabilize. It appears the vault is performing biological repairs. Oh, okay, sir. Imagine what we'll see here in a few years. Where am I supposed to plant my colony? So let's be fair, like, that's how this game works. We do a good thing, we plant down a colony. We do a good thing, we plant down a colony. That's my understanding anyway. This looks like a big open enough area. And Liam will be extremely unhappy with me once I just uh, plant another one down. Oh, I've looted this particular container. Odd enough. Okay, let's head back to the starting point of this planet. Give them a talk. And see what else we they need from us. Or what else we need from them. Remnant. Never thought I'd see such a thing. My aunt had a what on earth? I was setting up sensors. The next, but it's some alien was ancient. talking to me. I to achieve it. She was never able to do it reliably. It took a great what can I help concentration? We'll talk later. She couldn't explain we can speak more later. I'll be here. But I have good news for everyone. Gather round. Havar is safe. I'll find a rider. You have done something remarkable here today. 
succeeded where Zorai failed. Esmus, what are you doing down here? Renewing old bonds. Talking to you was enlightening. I saw an alien working for us when we had given up. We have isolated ourselves for too long. Perhaps there is a balance we can find. We all need to find balance, I think. Tavos, I wasn't expecting to see you, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I've learned a lot in a short time. The Rokar wants simple solutions, but nothing is ever simple or certain, is it? I wish those that were killed could have realized this. But after everything I've seen, I have to hope that they aren't lost forever. This curious memory transfer. Reincarnation. Whatever it might be, I aim to devote resources to studying it. Maybe one day we'll find the truth buried deep within our superstitions. That was kind of heartwarming to see. There has been healing today, Havaral. The rifts between my people and your to thank. There is some space here at Dar Pelev, and we'll need extra hands to monitor Havaral's situation. Will you extend an invitation to your people? We'd welcome anyone who can help. I'll pass it along. Then I'll leave you. I have some numbers to analyze. Can you believe it? For the first time in years, they excite me. Okay, so this time we were actually given an invitation to join this planet. Are you doing any better? Oh, what do you want this time? I'll leave. I won't bother you further. I was about to offer you access to Aya. Because I think that's where I'm headed next. How are you doing? I told my colleagues what you did for me. You've made a lot of friends on Havara Pathfinder. Likewise. The feeling's mutual. I hope you find your lost colonies. If they exist, our people out there need to know they are not alone. In the meantime, the recent upheaval exposed ruins we never knew existed down in the valley. I'm told there are glyphs that resemble star charts. I'm staying to investigate. I better get to work. Oh, is this something we can access? Or is this a different part of town? Entirely. Who knows? How are you doing? Pathfinder Rider. Goodbye. I should get going. Stars be bright for you, Pathfinder Rider. Pathfinder Rider. Do, 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 do. do I ride the Pathfinder? No. Good to see you again, Pathfinder. We can speak more later. I am the Pathfinder. I don't, I don't find myself. That would be a bit strange. Just a little bit. Okay, so there are some little tasks around that I could work on. But on the other hand, we could head back to space. And the next time we can hit Aya. And when I say hit, I mean like go there. We are not going to attack Aya. I hope. Like nothing in life is certain, but I do not believe that we have any reason to attack the, to attack Aya. Like we were offered a new place to stay here. I think that's that's plenty good. We can go and take that uh, courtyard that the uh, Rokar were using. Just make sure that no one heads down into the hole in the ground. Okay, email. The Nexus has approved a request for a multidisciplinary team to be posted on Havar, also known as Habitat 3, to assist with the current efforts there. Primary team name was Dr. Hawkins McIntyre, Sino Anthropology Team Lead, Sarah Cassian, Botany, Environmental Engineer, Farley Para, Entomology. Cody Hodron, Quartermaster. Both Angara and Nexus teams have expressed interest think, in having the Pathfinder visit Havar again to observe cross-cultural efforts. 
From Mahmoud, it is I, Mahmoud, I write to you now from Amara's home on the other side of Havar. I am surrounded by her children and grandchildren whom I have never met, but who welcomed me as though they'd known me all their lives. I left my own only to find another one. Though I wish I had done this years ago, I am grateful for the time I have left. This would not have happened without your help. It is beautiful here, Amor. Ah. Proud of Havar? I mean, sure. Living there would have been fun. That part is one pterodactyl away from a Jurassic funfair. But what we did for the Angara will go a long way to making us good neighbors. We need that, especially with the scores restricting, restricting the neighborhood. Security is training up on what the locals know about local fauna, outposts or not, Havar helps. Liam has included a list of media themed to community. Channels include century old uh, situation comedies and documentaries about research partnerships. Also, a musical about a man eating plant. Mifty. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Contact Director Edison from Havar. So they're telling me I need to go back on the planet? That's fine. We have two rewards to collect. And uh, we have... What's this? Ooh. Ooh. So we will have food the business on the wall. Maybe even immediately. Oh, wait. for some reason I never realized there's a map of the ship available to me. Available to me, that one. Right, no, no, no. What I wanted was to develop some pants, I think. Is there anything we can develop for this? No, we don't have the element zero. Is there any element zero on sale right now at the kiosk? Uh, show me the money. Minerals, no. Tech materials, no. Biomaterials, no. I'm gonna guess no. In that case, let's hit the research center and develop ourselves some pants. We're gonna make good pants. Pants, pants, pants. Yeah, Medichel, Newtonian multiplier. Yeah, I like that Newtonian multiplier and they could solve that for sure. And I'll take the shield region. Sounds about right. And this is this is rider armor because N7 doesn't really have a presence here. And if I run into an N7 person who is very unhappy with my choice of outfits... Well. Oh, this needs 30 platinum. That's a lot. How about arms? Can I afford arms? Yeah, let's make arms as well. So, another Newtonian multiplier sounds great. And... Tech, tech, tech support. Shields, health and shield. Regeneration, delay, reduction. Yeah, that sounds also pretty good. Into that, and let's make. Why is this rider armor? This is arms. No? There we go. The question mark there is extremely valuable. Okay, but I wanted to check down back on the planet for just a moment, and then next time we will go and start off with all the stuff. So we want to talk about the cross-cultural alliances. And we also want to equip our new stuff. 
So we have these new legs that go the right, uh, right. It's just rider armor if I don't rename it. So this is how I, the for, format I was using for the helmet. Oh well. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. Could have done that better. Like I could have uh, kept it to more consistency. I didn't check what how I had named my helmet. I just knew it was Rider helmet. And I absolutely did not look at what the rest of the stuff was called. It was just Rider armor, Rider armor, Rider armor. And that's fine. It makes a sense, I suppose. All right, so. We are expected over there. There's also a merchant here now. Cool. Let's go check in with uh, Aval's multicultural settlement. Hey, hey, you are working here. That's a good sign. How are you doing, Bell? I hope. Good to see people working together. Even if they will awkwardly just look at each other when I'm here. Okay, what did you find? Analysis alone can't tell us anything useful. Our sample set is much too narrow. Pathfinder Rider, Dr. Tsana Rilar, Xenobotanist for the Initiative, and my colleague, Dr. Eric Baumgarten. Xenogenetics. Pleasure to meet you. I can see why you're on Havarl. Plenty to keep you busy. Indeed. It can hardly walk without stepping on a new life form. Ugh, we tread lightly. Your report of accelerated evolution and rapid growth of nature here caught our interest. We're analyzing everything we can for clues to replicate the effects on our own crops. It would have interesting applications, if there's a way to control the process. Uh -huh. You understand the end goal. If we learn to enhance the growth of plants and animals in non-destructive ways, we could end hunger. It would change everything for the initiative. Our colonies could thrive virtually overnight. Since you repaired the vault, things are returning to normal, but too quickly for us. The accelerated life forms you want to study are dying off, decaying. We're scrambling to scan and catalog everything before it's gone. We could use some help. Point me to life forms you need. I'll do the rest. Anything mutated beyond its baseline growth cycle will aid our work. I'll provide the most promising genetic markers to scan for. Thank you for whatever help you can provide, Pathfinder. Rendezvous here when you're finished. Cool. Water shots registered. Oh, these water shots are going to Aya. I wonder if that one guy now finally got the chance to go to Aya or not. Kieran says Aval would have lasted another cycle. Two at most. Were the projections so dire? I could believe it. It came so close to losing everything. Oh, what's this? Muted Chelyron, a Chelyron of abnormal size and aggressiveness is decimating local wildlife. The net point for the beast's hunting ground has been uploaded to you. Recommending approach with extreme caution. The Chalyron is likely to consider you a threat. It may be curious how you taste. Okay. The malfunctioning remnant vault appears to have modified the Rarka to be more territorial and adaptable. It has been observed defending its feeding grounds at the null point uploaded to you. Scans of the Rarka may reveal the nature of its mutations. An error comparing physical and behavioral signs of genetic modifications by how our remnant vault has made its home near the null point just uploaded to you. Scan Scans of the creatures should reveal the nature of its mutations and how they modeled the beast from its baseline. Excellent. Confirm it. Things are getting better. We did it. Don't give me all the grid. What can I help with? We'll talk later. We can speak more later. Like okay. Gameplay wise, it's it's on me, yeah, but you know. I prefer imagining uh, in-game worlds not giving me all the credit. 
feels a little bit nicer. Anything new? What do you want this time? I just want to offer you a right to Aya. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. Yes, they're almost like mud crabs, aren't they? Okay, there's a com communications terminal. Can we use that to... No. Okay, I want this quest here. There's a quest. A quest! A quest! Also, I'm gonna be working on... Actually, let's be honest, I'm just gonna spend one more episode on this planet. We're gonna see what we can do about helping out the scientists here and we're gonna talk to Edison. So if I'm lucky, I can figure out how to get to Edison's little conversation thingy. Hello. That's a nice hat. Oh, welcome. New supplies, fresh from the Nexus. And a few from my secret partners. Plan to build the first Angora Nexus trading company. Lone Star Enterprises. <laughs> Gotta remember where I started, you know. Hey, you wanna be an early investor? What do I get for investing? Today, great supplies. Tomorrow, who knows? I'm gonna sell you all of my salvage. Yes. That was 18,000 of salvage. That's that's a fair amount of salvage. Initiative spear point armor. What what is its abilities? Max shields. Encounter XP increase. Counter XP and that sounds like an interesting opportunity, to be honest. Let me just get rid of everything I don't want. Okay, and let's sell the rest of that. Is there a second floor entrance to this place that I have previously not seen? How am I supposed to get up here? Like, without doing whatever I just did? Oh, there's a door over there. I've compared my cuttings to Kieran Dahl's. No mutation, ah, no fungus, the pathfinder all fine signs. Dr. McIntyre from the Nexus. Eat plant fungus. Ryder, delicacy. welcome to Havaro. If you're going to eat something, She'll be more out welcome now that you put the vault At back on time. At least do it on a dare. The Angara invited us to monitor plant growth and study ruins out in the jungle. It's the chance of a lifetime. You know how Tavos found the monolith, right? Reincarnated memories? Aye, I heard. One for the textbooks. You believe him? But you're a scientist. Asari share thoughts and memories. Prothean text speaks in visions. Those are scientific facts. There's more to people than what can go under a microscope, lad. Be careful around those monoliths. There might be more stasis fields. We think they only affect Angara, but who knows? Oh, we know. Make no mistake. I have a check-in system ready. Whether young Farley remembers it when he's chasing butterflies is another matter. What does your team do here? Zera is our botanist. She'll be minding the plants and designing an artificial habitat for them. She also happens to be an engineer. Uh, sorry. One profession's never enough. Then there's young Farley. Easier for the insects. And you? I'm the xenoanthropologist. A fancy word for talking to the Angara about those ruins. And listening. I imagine you've spoken to Kieran Dahls already? She's the one who invited us, aye. Fussed over us, something terrible. But she's a fine lady, and hopefully a good colleague down the road. I plan to listen to her. Excellent. Good luck, McIntyre. Safe journeys, Ryder. So, uh, next point down the road will be activate this holo communicator, and uh, then we'll hunt some beasties, and then we will be on our way to Aya if all things go according to plan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.